Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with Trail of Mountain, and today I'm super excited. I had a company reach out to me a little while ago from uh, the company name is Wesson, W E S N, and they make super high quality knives. So I asked them, I said, Do you guys have any like ultra lightweight like knives that I could potentially use for backpacking? Because usually when I go backpacking, I don't like to bring a big knife. Uh, I like bringing something small, something I can clip to my belt or clip to my backpack, throw it in my pocket, something super lightweight, and it's sharp if I need to cut up dinner or if I need to split little pieces of wood, no problem. So they were nice enough to send me out a little knife and this is a super cool knife. I want to get it unboxed. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, this is it right here, Wesson. So without further ado, I'm going to flip my camera around so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to get over to the table behind me and I will show you as I unbox this, what this thing looks like. And then you can make your decision on whether or not you think you want to buy one of these. Uh, but they're super cool. So um, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we go. Wesson. Little knife here. Okay, I'll set that off to the side. I imagine that's where the knife is. You can see how small it is. You get a cool little Wesson holster. That's kind of cute. Like a gun holster. Uh, use care manual, gotta have that. And a cool Wesson sticker, that's awesome. And some little wood shavings. So I'm gonna keep that for a good fire starter. So that's some solid tinder right there. Just throw a spark in there, this thing will catch fire quick. All right, so we don't need that stuff. This is just a knife holster. I'll get to that in a minute. So I'm just gonna set that off to the side. But without further ado, let's get this little bad boy unboxed. Aww. There it is. Nice little clip. And this is one-handed operation. So basically you pinch here and you take your little finger and you just flip it open like that. Super nice little blade. It's ridiculously sharp. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. You can shave with this bad boy. Not bad. So there it is right there. Small, super lightweight. I'm gonna get it on my scale here. I just wanna see how much it weighs. One point one ounce. Nice little, nice little knife. And then basically this little split right here, that's how you close it. So you push that, and then this little bad boy just boom slides back in and locks in place. So I mean it's kind of hard to open it like this. It's essentially just a one-handed little flick. Nice, nice little finger hold right there so you can if you are going to cut I would use this to cut up lunch like salami or something like that cheese and then boom clip this to your pocket you're done as for the little holster this little guy just kind of slides in here just like so and once you get it in there boom this way you keep it protected so not something I would carry normally but I do like that they give you uh, they included it with it, and it's nice stitched leather. Looks cool. It's got the company logo on it. There you go. One-handed operation. Boom. You gotta be careful though, because this thing is pretty dang sharp. It does have a nice little hole in the bottom here, so if you want to use a lanyard, you could. I'm not big on lanyards, but super cool. I love the one-handed operation. It does take a little bit of strat, you know, a little bit of force to get this thing to actually open, because you got to pinch here, and then you use your finger right here, just boom. And then once it's in there, it's locked in place. It's not going nowhere. So nice blade. It is a one-sided blade. This this side is not sharp at all. But I like that they put Wesson right in the actual metal itself. I really like it. This is my backpacking knife that I would bring normally because it's uh, super lightweight. All right guys, so I've been using the Wesson knife and for those of you that don't, don't know, Wesson stands for West, East, South, and North. 
So obviously the areas of the compass. So um, one thing I really like about it is that little holster that it came with. So I just kind of put that on my shoulder strap right here. So I always have it with me if I'm wearing my backpack. Usually if I'm bringing my backpack, um, this is going either in my pack or it's strapped to the shoulder strap like this, just so I can get to it in a hurry. Uh, sometimes I'll leave it in my pocket, but I really like having it on my shoulder strap so I could just, you know, pop the little snap open and I could just, you know, get it out of the holster right here. Flip it open and then I have my knife ready to go if I ever need it. Now, another thing that's really cool, obviously, as you just saw in the video, it's also a fire starter because this back edge here is nice and sharp and it really throws down a good set of sparks for a ferocium rod uh, for those of you that are bushcrafters stuff like that probably not the best knife for bushcrafting because it's it's really really small i mean if you're going to whittle some wood and you want to make some little carvings it's probably fine and uh, i'll actually have a piece of wood right here i'll show you what i mean all right so just regular just like i just got a stick wesson microblade knife this thing I mean, it just goes through wood like crazy. So if you're looking to make some kindling, stuff like that, I mean, you can even potentially make this into like a little feather stick if you do it right. So if you do this thing right, you can really make this into a nice little feather stick. Um, or just make a bunch of, you know, tinder for making a fire. I mean, super easy to do. This thing just rips through the wood. As I said, that's that back edge right there for really putting on a fire steel. So all in all, the Wesson knife, I mean, come on, really? Look how small that thing is. At one ounce, titanium body, steel blade. My understanding is that they're also gonna be upgrading the steel blade in the future. So also too, I mean, this thing works great for cutting little saplings off. So. This is a pretty green branch. But yeah, I mean, the thing just rips through. But it is a, it is a liner lock. Basically just pop that open. The blade folds back in nice and nice. Um, it is a little difficult to use the the thumb knob to open it. You can, but it's difficult. Me personally, I just kind of pinch right here and just hold on to this. Boom. Super easy. It opens up really easily if you do it this way for me. I mean, I have no issues whatsoever. All in all, it's a great knife. As I said, this satin finish right here is a little hard to grip if your hands are wet. But aside from that, I mean, this thing fits in an Altoid can for, you know, your bug out bag or, you know, like I usually bring an Altoid can when I go into the backcountry. I mean, it's like smaller than my thumb. So they market it around the size of a key. Granted, yeah, you have a hole right here for a lanyard or a, you can just put it right on the keychain. I like having it right on the, um, right in the holster for my backpack. So anyway, there it is. Wesson Microblade. Really great everyday carry. But one of the coolest things is that it's also a bottle opener. So get your favorite libation, get your little, just kind of pop that open just like that. Boom, bottle opener. The Wesson Microblade knife is a super cool knife. I do like the satin finish on the handle. However, if your hands are wet, this thing gets pretty slippery. So keep that in mind. Maybe put a little piece of uh, grip tape on there or something like that would be a little beneficial. Thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate you checking out my latest video of the Wesson Microblade, a little one ounce everyday carry knife. Really, really nice. I like it. Um, they don't really have very many cons. Um, lots and lots of pros, but no, hardly any cons, really. This is a great little everyday carry knife. And this is the knife that I bring backpacking because it's small. It's super lightweight, just over an ounce. And, I mean, I could, it pretty much does everything that I would need for the backcountry.
So if you guys have any questions about the microblade, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. We'll see you in the next video.